Welcome back to the channel. If you remember on a previous video, we worked on these uh, modular battery packs to design for our medical equipment. We've added on some connectors here and replaced the internal wiring, bump up at uh, the amperage a little bit so I could handle it. Uh, now it's time to use them. So we've got three here. So this would be an 8S, uh, 3P per, so that would be 9P total. And we'll calculate the watt hours and the amperage when we do a load test at near the end. And so we're gonna try to make this nice and clean and put it in a nice little box. So let me show you that. So here's our box that we're going to put everything in. Pretty wide, pretty deep but it actually fits three batteries quite nicely in this section here. And then in this section here, we're going to put in our electronics. We're also gonna put a little barrier to hold the batteries in place. We're going to mount the power switch and a power port for charging. And for the power port, we're gonna do it a little differently. Instead of the push on connectors, we're actually just gonna use one of these plugins. Um, and theoretically that could be used for in and out, but they'll mostly just be used for charging. And then we're also going to add in a power meter that we're going to put on the top here. And then on this tie here, you know, I'm not sure exactly where yet, but there's going to be an inverter up here. And we're going to have this all nice and needed, neat, neatly done. And then we're also going to add in a handle. So that's what we're going to do in this first little part is we're going to find the center line, find the center points and mount this handle. And I've created a little jig for that. So we've got this little guy right here. You may have seen tools like this in woodworking. But the idea here is that you have a center hole and then you have equally spaced here a pole and here spaced a pole. And then it's gotta be wide enough to fit across. Uh, just very little, it doesn't need to be as, as, as wide as I have it. But it needs to be wide enough so that it does that. And then you put a pin in there and you can actually draw and you know that's the perfect center, as long as that pole to there to there are all equal. So let's do that real quick. We're gonna use some masking tape because I don't wanna draw lines on this directly. And then we'll drill some holes and mount, mount the handle. So here we go. All right, we got our masking tape. Let's go ahead and apply it. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as we know we're covering the center section of the box. So we're going to use Sharpie and let me raise this up just a little bit. All right, so let's get everything in position, got the mark here. All right, so we want to make sure that those stay tight or else we won't get a nice, there we go, that's really all we need. So now that is now the center line between this top on this bottom. Now luckily um, this box is very well um, symmetrical so we kind of know exactly where the center line is. Um, so I'm just gonna, it doesn't need to be perfect. So we're just gonna mark a line here and then I'm gonna use my spacer here to kind of just kind of draw a line across to give me a cross section. Definitely close enough. So now, if we look at our handle, you'll notice that it's uh, very symmetrical as well. And right here is the dead center of the handle. All right, so if we get our holes here to be over our lines, and then we get that center to be over there, our line, we've got a pretty close, and I would say close enough, knowledge of where so right here and right here and all we got to do is drill some holes let's make sure our quarter inch bolt can go through. Yes, it can. Well, let's peel our tape off. Thank you. 
we've got our three modules here. They're going to be on this side. And we have these in parallel, so we're going to run a bus bar that will be for our main power. And then we've also got this little wall here that will be added in. that we can uh, then uh, secure. And this will keep the batteries from shifting around. We may put some more spacing, some, some padding in here. But even with this alone, I mean, it might be a slosh a little bit, but it would not really go anywhere. But we'll make sure that it's nice and secure. But now you can see the reason I put the handle on this top part instead of here is that all the weight will be down here. Even if we put the inverter on top on this side, um, it's still going to be very heavy. So when we're setting it, you know, set it down like that, it'll um, be nice, to, easy to handle, easy to maneuver. And so the next steps will be adding the power plug and then also our switch. So if we're turning it off and on, and we'll just jump on that. All right, we finally got everything together. Let's go through the wiring before we button this up. Uh, here we have a copper bar that we have going through and connecting all three of these batteries together. And that runs the power uh, straight over to the switch on the bottom pin out there. The ground side goes to this little electronics, which is the shunt and the collimeter, which will track our percentage and amperage and watt usage. Um, so everything goes directly from the battery to here and everything that's ground needed goes off to here. Uh, from there we go to the switch um, top part here to give the LED power and we also go to this which is the down converter from 40 volts or up to 40 volts down to 12 volts that will power the inverter and then the switch power goes to this side as well. So basically all the electronics feeds the switch which feeds this and the only thing that comes off of this is the inverter. The only other power requirements we have are down here on the power plug. The uh, ground side goes over to this part which loops it into the system, connects here or connects here so that um, it tracks the voltage in and out. And then the uh, positive side um, goes up to the bottom part here so it's tied in connected directly. So we don't need the major wires there. We have less wire there because the amperage is probably only going to be about two to three amps. Um, these are the two leads that actually go to the inverter and we have those wired up to the inverter there. So we'll wire up all that in a second and then we'll do some capacity tests. Um, so again, this is uh, a 33 point something voltage max and brings it down to 12 for the inverter. Um, and then that's what goes on. So we're going to button it up and do a capacity test um, and look forward to that. All right, we're finished charging here. Uh, we set the top to the 33.3, give it a little bit of margin, don't let it go super full. Uh, which we got 22.9 amp hours, which I easily think we could add to 23 if we just bumped up the voltage a little bit more. So that equals about 680 watt hours. And again, a quick little overview. This is an 8S 9P setup. We're using 18650 batteries and those uh, medical uh, modules that we adapted in an earlier video. We have a 300 watt pure sign inverter with a single 120 outlet. 
we have a switch with LED to turn everything on and off, and then we have a charge port. Uh, pretty simple build. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.